aims to raise global attention and focus on disability inclusion, which remains a, a neglected area. Uh, it aims to bring in new voices and approaches to broaden engagement. It aims to mobilize in global and national commitments on disability. 15% of the world's population and 20% of the world's poor made up of uh, persons with disability. Mainstreaming and social inclusion of persons with disability is very critical. So the underprivileged issue that without having the voices of people with disabilities, it is not possible to develop inclusive policies. The objective of this scheduled summit is to raise global attention and focus on neglected areas of disability. हमारे यहाँ से जो भी रिप्रेजेंट जो भी हमारा लीडर जाए वो पाकिस्तान का सही रिप्रेजेंट करे और खासतौर पर डिसेबिलिटी इशू को लिविंग विद डिसेबिलिटीज के मसाइल को और उनके चैलेंजेस को जितना ज़्यादा हाईलाइट करेंगे उतने उनकी जिंदगी के अंदर एक बेहतरी आ सकेगी डिसेबिलिटी बिल एक्ट जो पास हुआ पिछली गवर्नमेंट में तो वो एक बहुत ही ज़रूरी डॉक्यूमेंट है जिसको हम इसको जो अपोर्ट कर सकते हैं and 50% of them are women and girls with disabilities. For the time person, our deaf people, would give you a sign language can tell them. I studied in a special education institute where my upbringing was limited. Uh, I've just come out of an inclusive education session where we had panelists <laughs> from uh, advocacy organizations from the government at federal and provincial levels um, and they were all talking about the importance of diagnosing how many children have disabilities in the first place. If we look at the law first, the law has a huge lacuna. This is economic empowerment or business incubation at asset management, training, capacity building, a proper systematic process. Development is a very contextual. कारान में जो जरूरियात हैं वो कैरपुर में नहीं होंगी और ग्वादर में और होंगी और राजनपुर में और होंगी सोर्ट वेयर सेइंग कुछ बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स हैव टू बी द सेम हम इट्स इट्स वंडरफुल टू बी एट सच एन इंस्पायरिंग वर्कशॉप इन इस्लामाबाद टू हैव सो मेनी पीपल अक्रॉस गवर्नमेंट्स अक्रॉस सिविल सोसाइटी फ्रॉम डिसेबिलिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस really coming together to discuss what Pakistan can do and how the international sector can support Pakistan in Pakistan jobs for deaf people It's very difficult. Sign language people are don't, in schools. They're not teaching sign language properly, so good education is not there. I feel it's an amazing initiative that UK government has taken, and more of these workshops can help disabled persons to go out there and learn. And the bit is which is which is voice activated, so if it's away. Let's say your uh, it's a way you want to voice activate, bring it to yourself. It's completely electric. I think it's extremely important uh, as part of our collaboration that we hear um, these different voices if we have to if we have to make progress. So I really want to thank uh, the staff. I want to thank Site Savers, Government of Pakistan, the Ministry of Planning, Development and Reform has been very actively. involved um, and they are very interested uh, in the outcome of this workshop and that was precisely the objective of this consultation